Hi guys, Dale Malik with Watch the Wear. Thank you for joining me today. So today's video is on a new edition. I just picked this up this past Friday at a NAWCC show. Uh, it was actually the Southern Ohio Regional Show. Pretty good show. Been to it a few times before in the past. Um, same cast of characters selling, but uh, nevertheless, a pretty nice show. There was quite a few watches there. And quite frankly, um, not a lot of good deals. Uh, it's interesting. Um, sometimes with bigger shows uh, like the one, the regionals, or even the national show, you don't really get a lot of prices because their philosophy is you got a lot of people coming there and that's more of an opportunity for them to sell the watch at a higher price, supply demand. Um, you typically get better deals at the smaller local chapter shows or even the more, I don't know, but the more, not the big regional shows, but the, uh, there's some other shows like in Cleveland, they have a few shows that bring people together. So in any event, a pretty good show, it was a good time. Um, if you've never been to one before, I would highly suggest joining the NAWCC. It's very inexpensive to join. I think first time members for their first year is right around $50. And then a year, yearly renewal is right around 80 bucks. But it's really nice. You get the benefit of going to these shows. And quite honestly, there was a ton, a ton of watches there. Uh, some new stuff. I saw a lot of vintage um, uh, tank watches like Hamilton's and uh, tons of Amigas there. Uh, you probably, if you were looking for a vintage Seamaster, there was a ton of them there as well. Saw a couple of Genève Dynamics, um, a lot of Rolexes too as well, and a lot of very cool chronographs. And I even saw a couple Hamilton uh, chronomatics. Very nice, and I actually have my eye on one, and the same person that sold me this watch that we have right here, uh, his friend had a uh, Hamilton chronomatic. Uh, from the, I do believe from late 60s, probably early 70s, obviously. But anyway, uh, today's video, like I said, is on my new edition. This is a uh, Volcane um, chronograph. It's reference number 3786. So without further ado, let's zoom in and get started with the review and video. Okay guys, so what we have here is a uh, Volcane chronograph from the 1960s. Like we said, this is reference number 3786. So Volcane is probably best known for their Cricket Alarm watch. We have done a few videos before in the past. Um, but they also produced some very nice chronographs and some very inexpensive dress watches. If you watch some of my previous videos, you know I've featured a few in the, before in the past. I also have a very inexpensive dress watch from the 1940s that was my grandfather's and it keeps excellent time. But anyway, uh, the case in dimensions, let's get started. So we have a polished stainless steel case, obviously a traditional case back. Now it is a screw, screw in case, so it opens up from the back. Let's flip it so you can get an idea of it. There we go. You can see how it screws in in the back. We'll zoom in a little bit so you can get an idea of what it says. Stainless steel back. Uh, it's got the uh, Volcane uh, logo in the middle there too as well. Uh, pretty nice condition. Um, I would say if I had to grade it, I'd give it eh, very good condition considering it is a watch from the 1960s. So, boy, over 50 years old. Anyway, let's flip it back there. There we go. Okay, center it up. But anyway, the, the case size. Okay, it's going to come in at 36 millimeters, and that is without the crown and pushers. Uh, lug to lug, we're at about 44.5. The lugs are quite long, um, so it, it wears pretty darn good for a 36 and a half millimeter watch. Uh, the lug width, uh, it's 18 millimeters, so definitely a crowd favorite you can have a lot of fun uh, putting different straps on it obviously if you've seen some of my videos before in the past you know i like the uh, alligator grain or alligator uh, straps um, thickness not that thick 12 millimeter thickness now it does not have a sign crown let's uh, 
show you right there as you can see no sign crown on this guy okay all right and um, now it has the two uh, barrel uh, chronograph pushers there you go you can see them right there very nice all right now obviously the top chronograph um, pusher is going to start and stop the chronograph and the bottom one resets the chronograph um, now it does have a acrylic uh, dome crystal I'll try to get you a little glimpse of that you can see it right there it's in pretty good shape um, when I got the watch I obviously brought it home um, cleaned it up a little bit took off the case back I got some really really nice pictures of the movement of this watch and used a little poly watch on the uh, crystal and cleaned it up very nicely I mean it came out pretty darn good um, just use a soft cloth to not polish it but just clean up the uh, clean up the outside of the watch as well now it does have a, a smooth bezel um, very clean no thrills about that so the movement of the watch we're featuring the Valjoux 7733 manual wound movement now the Valjoux 7733 movement is actually one of the it actually has a very storied uh, history to itself um, a very storied movement it's got a lot of history um, it was actually used in some of the early versions of the Hoyer Carrera the Breitling Top Time also had the Valjoux 7733 and several other uh, chronographs from the 60s now the Valjoux 7733 is based on the Venus 188 movement although the Valjoux uh, 7733 included some improvements such as a new bridge now in case you did not know this Valjoux actually purchased Venus when Venus within, was in financial difficulties excuse me so we have a 17 joule movement um, it's got a 30 hour power reserve it lasts for about 30 hours um, no date window and no hacking and quite frankly the uh, water resistance is unknown okay moving on the dial I'm gonna zoom in here so you can get a good look at it it's got this very cool dial alright so we got a black dial and it's what they call a surfboard center design pretty cool pretty funky um, I actually love it it's in white and interesting thing about this watch okay uh, probably about three years ago there was a, uh, a, a well-known vendor selling the same watch and I was very close to purchasing it and I can tell you it was in the, right around twenty three twenty four hundred dollars um, and there actually is one listed right now on chrono 24 selling for right around twenty three hundred dollars as well but anyway for whatever reason I decided not to purchase the watch um, and I can tell you flat out I paid considerably less than that amount um, less than a thousand dollars considerably less than a thousand dollars but anyway we got the black dial with the surfboard center design we do have applied markers okay with loom although the loom does not work it's got white hands with the loom in it too as well once again the loom does not work now the chronograph second hand is orange which is most likely a replacement and I knew that when I bought the watch I knew this watch pretty darn good because um, I almost bought one probably about a month or so ago on eBay that came up I was in a bidding war with it and ended up just not winning it at the end um, no big deal maybe it's serendipitous that I found it at the watch show but the chronograph hand is orange um, and it I believe it's a replacement now it's not the end of the world first of all I got a steal on the watch from my perspective especially what they're selling for and even what the one just sold for on eBay less than a month ago and I think I got a replacement um, that I found and my watchmaker you know I think we got some ideas to bring it back to White Lake the original um, hopefully I this NOS one's gonna come to fruition I do not know for sure but we'll see what happens so at the 12 o'clock position right above the surfboard we got the uh, Volcane uh, uh, call letters or their logo I'm gonna zoom in a little bit maybe you can get a little bit better idea of it there we go let's try to push that there center maybe a little bit more for you maybe we can get a little bit more ah, that looks really good now you can get a nice look at the dial 
Uh, so we got the, at the 12 o'clock position, as we said, right above the surfboard. Uh, we have the Volcane call letters and their logo. Now below the surfboard, it's going to say 17 joules income block right there. Um, now at the bottom of the dial, way down where you see on the outer tech, tachometer, it says Swiss down there. And we have two sub dials. So at the 3 o'clock position um, is the 30-minute uh, counter. And at the 9 o'clock position is the active seconds counter. And around the outermost part of the watch, we have our tachometer. Now, the dial is 100% original. Everything on this watch is original. Um, the movement, as you saw from some of the pictures, is absolutely, it's actually pristine. It's very, very clean. Um, very clean. Uh, very nice guy that I purchased the watch from. Um, like I said, I think his friend has a watch I may make a bid for. We'll see what happens. But anyway, um, everything's 100% original except for the uh, uh, sweeping uh, chronograph hand in orange there. But we got, we got a solution for that. But anyway, so that's it for today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's been a long time coming since I did one, but like I said, I'm switching my collection. I'm focusing on vintage chronographs from the 60s and 70s, um, trying to get some good pricing on them, so I use them as an investment. Who knows? I always uh, have a philosophy when I purchase a watch, no matter what watch it is. If I buy it today, can I sell it tomorrow for the same price? If I can't, I don't buy the watch. That's just my philosophy of doing things when I buy watches. Um, I'm not going to overpay for a watch. Why? I don't need it. It's fun to have, but I don't need it. But anyway, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please make sure and give me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our channel. And more importantly, follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. And in closing, make sure that you always have a watch to wear.